Comsol is proud to present its next release of Comsol Multiphysics version 4.3b. This video will summarize all the groundbreaking new products and powerful new features. This is a particularly exciting release for Comsol with five new modules in a variety of different application areas. This includes the multi-body dynamics module for analyzing assemblies of rigid and flexible bodies, the wave optics module for simulating electromagnetic wave propagation in optically large structures, the semiconductor module for simulating the underlying physics involved in semiconductor devices, the molecular flow module for modeling rarefied gas flow in vacuum systems, and the electrochemistry module for modeling electrolysis, electrodialysis, and electroanalysis applications. Comsol Multiphysics and the rest of the add-on products have also received a boost with improved handling of geometries, new solvers, improved meshing, and other useful functionality. Additions to the base functionality of Comsol Multiphysics include a neat new feature that will allow you to create a 2D simulation from the cross-section of a 3D geometry. This will really help you with your workflow as you can build upon the complexity of your simulations by first investigating a 2D model before moving into the 3D domain. Why launch yourself directly at a 3D model when a lot of understanding can be gained and many of the model settings and parameters decided through working in 2D? Also now built into Comsol Multiphysics is the ability to create coordinate systems for curved geometric shapes. Ideal for applications such as defining orthotropic materials in structural mechanics analyses, or anisotropic properties for thermal conductivity or electromagnetic media. This feature is automated and provides three different methods depending on the requirements on the created coordinate system. Another powerful new feature in Comsol Multiphysics is an extension to the swept mesher with more automation to minimize user interaction. The new algorithm will often be able to create a swept mesh without the need to define source and destination surfaces. LiveLink for Excel now also supports Microsoft Excel 2013, giving you the ability to work with multiple Excel models, lock files, and import material data to be directly stored in your material libraries. Comsol has expanded LiveLink for Inventor to provide a one-window user interface. Perform your Comsol Multiphysics simulations directly from within the Autodesk Inventor user interface, the associativity between the two occurring automatically. Comsol is continuing to answer the requests coming from our customers to build out new functionality. And this is epitomized by the release of the multi-body dynamics module. The multi-body dynamics module is an add-on to the structural mechanics module and will be delivered free of charge to all who have an active subscription for this module. A library of eight different joint types is provided, such as hinge, prismatic, ball and cylindrical joints to simulate the connection between different components in an assembly. This will allow you to analyze and post-process the relative displacement between components and their velocities, reaction forces and moments at joints, stresses and deformations in flexible bodies, and, if run together with the nonlinear materials module, the ability to model plasticity and hyperelasticity and the like in these bodies. Feature additions to the heat transfer module include the ability to simulate multi-wavelength surface-to-surface heat radiation, like the greenhouse effect for instance. Added to this module is also a feature to increase the ease of use for modeling phase change and thermal contact where the conductance can be varied according to contact pressure and surface properties. The Structural Mechanics module now includes a feature that lets you account for pre-stressed bolts, as well as an interface for beam cross-sections, where properties such as moments of inertia, torsional rigidity, and section modulus can be calculated from an arbitrary shaped 2D cross-section. Rain flow analysis with the Palmgren minor rule has been added to the Fatigue module, 
This will allow for fatigue evaluations caused by variable or random amplitude loads. COMSOL introduces two new modules for electrical applications. The new Wave Optics module introduces the beam envelope method, which is a very accurate method for simulating optical components. The new Wave Optics module introduces the beam envelopes method, which is a very accurate method for simulating optically large systems. This complements the full wave propagation methods found in the RF module, but which are also included in the Wave Optics module and both methods allow for simulating electromagnetic wave propagation in linear or nonlinear optical media. Used in geometrically large systems where the light waves cannot be approximated with rays, the module is useful for simulating optical fibers, bidirectional couplers, optical sensors, plasmonic devices, metamaterials and laser beam propagation. The Wave Optics module is shipped to all who have a current subscription for the RF module. The semiconductor module is a great new product that makes semiconductor device simulation available in the COMSOL multi-physics environment. The semiconductor module is perfect for the simulation of PN junctions, bipolar transistors, MOSFETs, thyristors, Schottky diodes, and similar semiconductor devices at the fundamental physics level. It provides two methods, the finite volume method with Schaffera gamel upwinding and a galerkin lee squares stabilized finite element method to solve the drift diffusion equations with non-isothermal transport models. The ACDC module welcomes a new solver, the auxiliary space Maxwell solver, for the fast assimilation of stationary and time-dependent magnetics applications. And periodic structures for electromagnetic waves can easily be set up in the RF module, great for frequency-selective surfaces and metamaterial design. All subscribers to the microfluidics module will receive the molecular flow module during this release. This module brings new technology for modeling vacuum systems, which you'll find in semiconductor manufacturing, mass spectrometers, satellite technology, particle accelerators, flow in nanoporous materials, which leads to applications like shale gas exploration. Gases at low pressures cannot be modeled with conventional fluid dynamics tools. The molecular flow module achieves this instead through modeling free molecular flow using the fast angular coefficient method, similar to surface-to-surface -surface radiation computations. Doing this, it is able to achieve results such as computing the number density of gas molecules in an iron beam. More functionality has also been added to the CFD module through a new turbulence model, the shear stress transport turbulence model. Augmented by a more robust CFD solver, the SST turbulence model blends the advantages of the K-epsilon and K-omega turbulence models and does not require wall functions. Further additions are a frozen rotor feature to simulate rotating machinery and a new feature to ease the simulation of thin screens, such as gauzes, grills and perforated plates. The new electrochemistry module complements the other electrochemistry-based modules with generalized interfaces useful for a number of applications. This includes modeling electrolysis, electrodialysis, and electroanalytical and bioelectrochemical systems. To find out more about these, as well as many of the other new features introduced to COMSOL Multiphysics, visit comsol.com slash 4.3b